What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. So we have to take each of these linear systems here, and we have to solve them by elimination. So notice that these here, they are in decimals. And a couple of different things you can do here. You can work with these decimals if you want. Personally, what I do is I get rid of the decimals and try to convert everything to be integers. And so with this particular system, we have 0.2x minus 0.5y is equal to 2.1. And we have 0.5x minus 0.1y is equal to negative 0.5. Now, what can we multiply everything by to get rid of the decimals in this particular case? Well, notice we can multiply everything by 10. Okay, and what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So if we multiply everything by 10 in this first equation, what's 0.2x times 10? Well, 0.2 times 10, you just move the decimal place over once. So we would end up with 2x. And then we have a minus, multiply this by 10, right? 10 times 0.5, we could just move this decimal place over and we'd end up with five. So we'd have five y over here. And then 2.1 times 10 would give us 21. Now, one thing I wanna mention is in this particular case, we're multiplying everything by 10 because of the type of decimal that we're dealing with. So let's pretend that uh, instead of this 0.2x, let's say we had 0.18x minus 0.5y equals 2.1. And we want to convert everything to be integers like this. Well, if we multiply everything by 10 here, well, this is still going to be 21. This is going to end up being 5. But what's this going to be here? 0.18 times 10, we move the decimal place over once, we're going to end up with 1.8x over here. So we're still going to have a decimal in this particular case. And so in this case, because there are two values to the right of the decimal, you actually want to multiply everything by 100 to get rid of all the decimals. And if you multiply this by 100, you got to multiply this by 100, multiply that by 100. Or you could take this and multiply it by 10, right? Both ways work. And so here we would end up with 18x minus 50y is equal to 210, like that. Okay, so just be on the lookout for that. And all of these, we're going to be multiplying them by 10, right? But sometimes you may get uh, decimals with more value, so you have to multiply it by a higher number. So whether you multiply 10 once and then just keep going, or you just notice that you can multiply this by 100, multiply this by 100, multiply this by 100 in order to get these values over here to be all integers. Okay, so going back to this, all of these I can multiply by 10 as well. So I'm going to multiply this by 10, this by 10, and then this by 10. And it's going to change it to all be in terms of integers. So 10 times 0.5 is 5. And then we got 1. 10 times 0.1 is just 1. So it's like a 1y. So you could just write y there. And then 10 times negative 0.5 would give us negative 5, like that. All right, so this system and this system, they're the exact same thing. You're gonna get the exact same solution. It's just now we're dealing with all integers and I feel like this is just a cleaner way to do this. So um, we can pick either to get rid of the X's or the Y's. Um, to get rid of the X's, we'd have to make both of these be 10x, so I have to multiply this by 5 and multiply this by 2, but notice that here we just have to multiply this by 5 to get these to be the same. Then we could subtract both of them. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to rewrite that first equation, and then I'm going to take this second equation, and I'm just going to multiply everything by 5. So we would end up with 25x 
minus 5y is equal to negative 25, right? Multiply everything by 5. And then from here, because these are the same sign, we subtract this from this, right? Because negative 5y minus negative 5y would give us negative 5y plus 5y, right? Which would give us zero. So the y's would cancel out, so we're uh, subtracting this from that. Okay, if these were opposite signs, if this was negative 5y, positive 5y, then we would add them to get rid of the y's, but we'd have to subtract, so we'd have 2x minus 25x. I suggest maybe sometimes doing it on the side even, just sometimes there could be a lot more signs going on, like in this case. So 2x minus 25x gives us negative 23x. So this would be negative 23x. And then over here, we have 21 minus negative 25. So 21 minus negative 25, which would be like 21 plus 25, which would give us 46. Okay, so this minus this gives us 46. So just be really careful with your signs here. And then we just divide by negative 23, divide this by negative 23, and notice x is equal to negative 2. All right, so we have the x value, and then you could plug it in either uh, to the originals or you could plug it into these ones that we have, these uh, integer expressions. So I'm going to plug it into this one just because the y is by itself here. So we'd have 5 times negative 2 minus y is equal to negative 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the negative y over so it becomes positive, the negative 5 I'll bring over. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. The negative 5 comes over, it becomes a positive 5. And so y would equal negative 10 plus 5, which would give us uh, negative 5. Okay, so the solution to this would be negative 2 and negative 5. Right, the x value negative 2, y value negative 5, that would be the point of intersection between these lines. Now, what if we want to do a check? Well, you want to check, you want to do the check with the originals. So starting with the first one, we have 0.2x, so x is negative 2, minus 0.5y, which is negative 5, equals 2.1. Okay, so that um, left side should equal 2.1. 0 0.2 times negative 2 would give us negative 0.4. Then negative 0.5 times negative 5 would give us positive 2.5. And then notice 2.5 minus 0.4 does indeed give us 2.1. Okay, so the first equation is all good. Now let's do the second equation. So we have 0.5 times negative 2 minus 0.1 times negative 5 is equal to, that should equal negative 0.5. So let's see if it does. 0.5 times negative 2 is negative 1. Negative 0.1 times uh, negative 5 would equal positive negative 0.1. Uh, negative 0.1 times negative 5 would equal positive 0.5, right? And so negative 1 plus 0 0.5 would give us negative 0.5 as expected. And so left side is equal to the right side. So we could be pretty confident that this solution here is correct. Now moving on to number 2. So we got 0.3x plus 0.4y is equal to 2.1. And then 0.2x minus 0.3y is equal to negative 2. So same thing. Notice for this first one, we can multiply everything by 10. Okay, to get rid of the decimals. So when we do that, I'll do that over here, we would end up with 3x plus 4y is equal to 21. And then if I take this, multiply it by 10 as well, right? Notice these are just, there's just one value to the right of the decimals over here. And actually over here, we already have an integer. But to convert these, we just have to multiply both of these by 10. 
So we'd end up with 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 2 times 10, it was negative 20, like that. Okay, so solving this system, solving this system, it's going to give us the exact same solution. So from here, uh, let's get rid of the x values in this case. So what we can do is we can multiply this by 2, multiply that by 3 to make them both be 6x. So if we do that, let's do that over here actually. So multiplying everything by 2, multiplying this by 2, and then multiplying this by 3. We're going to get rid of the x's, make them both the same. But you can also, if you want, get rid of the y's here. So you would multiply, uh, it would be 12. So multiply this by 3 and then multiply this by 4. So that's another option. Whatever, whichever way you go, just make sure you're getting the exact same solution. So I'm going to get rid of the x's. So 2 times 3x is 6x plus 8y equals 42. Right, multiplying everything by two here, multiplying everything by three, three times two x, six x, um, three times negative three y is negative nine y equals negative 60. Right, three times negative 20 is negative 60. And so from here, because these are the same sign, we would subtract this from that. So we're gonna be subtracting all of these over here. So we'll have 6x minus 6x, which is just 0x, so that's just 0. Over here, just be careful, we'll have 8y minus negative 9y, which would be like 8y plus 9y, which would give us 17y. So this would be 17y over here. And then we have 42 minus negative 60. So 42 minus negative 60, which is like 42 plus 60, which would give us 102, like that, All right? So this here uh, would end up equaling positive 102, like that. And then from here to isolate for the y, we would just basically divide this by 17, divide that by 17. Right, so the y value, 102 divided by 17, would give us a y value of 6. Okay, and then this y value of 6, we can plug into any of these equations. We can plug them into these, 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 to solve for the corresponding x value. I'm going to probably use these, and let's use this second one here. Again, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the same result. But I'll just use this one over here. All right, so I'm plugging in a y value of 6 and solving for the x value. So I'd have 2x minus 18 equals negative 20. Bring the negative 18 over. So we'll have negative 20 plus 18. 2x equals negative 20 plus 18 gives us negative 2. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to negative 1. Okay, so that's the solution. The point of intersection between these lines is negative 1 and 6. Now, let's do a final check with the original um, equations that we were given. Okay, you don't want to be doing this check with any of those uh, integer equations that we made, you always want to check with the original. So we'd have, let's start with the first one, we'd have 0 0.3 times the x value is negative 1 plus 0 0.4, the y value is 6, and that should equal 2.1. So let's see if it does. 0 0.3 times negative 1 would give us negative 0 0.3. 0 0.4 times 6 would give us 2.4. And notice that 2.4 minus 0.3 does indeed give us 2.1. All right, so we're all good with the first equation. And then the second equation, I'll just do up here. So 0 0.2 times negative 1 minus 0.3 times 6 should equal negative 2. 0.2 times negative 1 
would give us uh, negative 0.2. And then negative 0.3 times 6 would give us negative 1.8. And so notice that we are all good over here as well. Right? So the check pans out for both. We could be pretty confident that that is the correct solution.